Well, tonight, Indianapolis Animal Care Services staying open late to help find animals forever homes. News 8's Jenny Dreisler was there tonight as well for the adoption event. How'd it go? Uh, it was amazing, was Mike. It? Absolutely amazing. It was great. And it was fun for me to be there, too. It, the event ended just about 10 minutes ago. The shelter was absolutely packed with people for the first event of its kind for the shelter. The line was out the door with people just waiting to take home their new pet. From the 150 cats kind of like to the 300 dogs, there was no shortage of animals looking for a loving home Friday night inside the IACS shelter off Harding Street. Something else there wasn't a shortage of? People looking for their next furry friend. We had lost um, our dog last year, kind of put it off and decided this was a good time to go and find another friend for our family. <gasps> Every animal here has a story, all of them looking for their happy ending. Like eight-year-old American Bulldog mix, B-Dog, one of the dogs who has been at the animal shelter the longest, here for 100 days, left by his owner, his canine best friend, Indy, who B-Dog was dropped off with, already adopted, so B-Dog is alone. It is heartbreaking. Living long term in an animal shelter is not a normal environment for a dog. It's very stressful for them. They don't have that normal routine where they would have in a home. IACS officials waived all adoption fees and stayed open late. You can't find a parking spot. It's wonderful. With the first 25 dogs and 10 cats to be adopted during the event, going home with a special adoption kit, all in hopes of clearing an overcrowded shelter. We only have so many, you know, kennels to hold animals in the building. So we're trying to think of creative ways to get people in. Um, and reduce some of that overcrowding and get them into homes. And with the wag of a tail and the right family, these animals are well on their way to becoming pets. Four tries, but we found one. Found one for the whole family. Oh, these animals, guys, they were all just so incredibly friendly, and they really do need a home. If you missed tonight's free event, that's okay. The shelter is back open tomorrow with adoption fees at 60 bucks. Jenny Dreisler, Wish TV News 8.